My dad was a farmer all his life, so I used to go out and work with him and my brothers and sisters. Then it was what he did, drove tractors, ploughed. He just accepted that us girls would do it. It was not, oh, they're all women, they can't do it. You know, only my brother could do it. It was always that thing, so I never had that, you're a woman, you can't do it. I've always thought, oh, I want to have a go at that. I might only do it once, I might enjoy it, but I can say I've done it. A lot of it's history based, so it's breaking down those barriers of, but it's always been a man's role. Um, and I think that is improving, but it's going to take a lot of time to do that. Dad was, Dad was really proud and he was very excited and uh, I think it scared Mum, but she's been very supportive. My grandfather couldn't get his head around it. Um, he thought it was very dangerous and it was all, you know. Um, but then once you explain, you know, the training provided, you know, prepares you for that to an extent. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female in that regard, the training is the training and you know the benchmark that you need to meet for that. We went to a structure fire and we were in like the later stages of the fire and I'd come out of BA and I was changing over cylinder, so taking my helmet off, taking my jacket off and they realised that I was a female. Um, and some of the, the female family members uh, approached me and took me over to a woman who'd been inside the fire and was actually pregnant, um, but she hadn't, they hadn't felt that they could come forward and, and speak to the firefighters. So I was able to yeah, get her some first aid, get an ambulance coming for her and yeah, be able to provide care. And so it just goes to show that sometimes in those communities that they still have the fear of maybe approaching, approaching men in that situation. So I think that was really good. I think the biggest areas we can make a difference personally is when we go to school groups and the groups and we teach people um, and we say firefighter, not fireman. I think that's really important to teach girls that they can be a firefighter too. It's about empowering women to believe that they can do whatever they put their mind to. You don't stand in the background because you know that that's a tricky thing for you to do. You just sort of got to put yourself out there but know also in doing that, know your limitations and have the people around you to work through those limitations. If you want it, you need to work hard for it and uh, make it happen. You can make anything happen if you're passionate about it.